Welcome. In this video, we'll learn how to graph the equation y equals 2x squared. As always, a graph is just a set of ordered pairs, and the equation will tell us which ordered pairs to include in the graph. Let's use the equation to generate some ordered pairs, and get a feel for how this equation works. I'll choose x equals 5. So I'll replace x with 5 in the formula, and that gives us 5 squared, which is 25, and we need to multiply the result by 2, giving 50. So the ordered pair 5, 50 is part of this graph. Let's try a negative value for x. If you write negative 4 for x, you get negative 4 squared, which is positive 16. And when we multiply that by 2, we get 32, which tells us the ordered pair negative 4, 32 is also in the graph. Before we start making our table, let's just notice that y equals 2x squared is so, so similar to y equals x squared. So we might as well be comparing these two functions in terms of their table and in terms of their graph. So that's what we'll do. First, we'll generate a standard list of simple, convenient x values. And I'll use my red pen to generate values of x squared and I'll put red dots on the graph to represent those ordered pairs. 0 squared is 0, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9. 1, 4, 9. So we'll put dots at 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 4, and 3, 9. As well as negative 1, 1, negative 2, 4, and negative 3, 9. Great! Now I'm going to use my fancy uh, straight line tool to represent the height of each dot in order to compare it to the heights um, of the points when we eventually get this graphed. We have heights of 0, 1, 4, and 9. 0, 1, 4, and 9. On the other side we also have 0, 1, 4, 9. 0, 1, 4, 9. Okay, now let's turn our attention to uh, the formula y equals 2 times x squared. And I'll use my green pen to generate these values and put green dots um, on the graph. So we're supposed to take x and square it, which we've already done, but then we're supposed to multiply those answers by 2, which we're about to do. 0 times 2 is still 0. So that order pair did not change. 1 times 2 is 2, 4 times 2 is 8, 9 times 2 is 18, and above we get the same values, 1 times 2, 4 times 2, 9 times 2. Okay, so we're going to plot the ordered pair, 1 comma 2, 1 comma 2, 2, 8, 2, 8, and 3, 18, 3, 18. On the other side we get negative 1, 2, negative 2, 8, and negative 3, 18. Okay, here comes the fancy pen tool again that will draw a nice straight line and we'll want to represent the height of each bar as 0, 2, 8, 18, 0, 2, 8, 18. And on the other side we again get 0, 2, 8, 18, 0, 2, 8, 18. Before we complete these graphs, let's stop and ask, what's the relationship between the height of each red bar and the height of each green bar? Well, apparently, each green bar is exactly twice as tall as the red bars. For instance, 2 is twice as tall as 1, 8 is twice as tall as 4, and 18 is twice as tall as 9. I wonder why all these green bars are twice as tall as the red bars. Hmm, well that's not a big mystery. If you look back at the equation, you can see why. We doubled each value. We multiplied each value by 2, and that's why the bars are twice as tall. That makes a ton of sense. Okay, I'm going to use my orange pen to complete the graph of y equals x squared, which should pass through each of these red dots. Okay, so there's the graph of the original function, just for the sake of comparison. Now I'll use my purple pen 
uh, to draw the graph of y equals 2x squared, and that needs to pass through all these green dots. And there you have it, the complete graph of y equals 2 times x squared. Uh, one observation before we move on, both graphs have this line of symmetry. So the line of symmetry hasn't changed at all. And both graphs are symmetrical U-shaped curves. One of them just a little bit taller than the other. But other than that, they're very, very similar curves. By the way, people call this kind of transformation a vertical stretch. Can you see how that's an adequate description of what took place? Lastly, we looked at the equation y equals 2 times x squared. I wonder if you can predict how y equals 3 times x squared will look, or 1 third times x squared, or negative 3 times x squared, or this one. Hmm, only one way to find out, and that's to do it. Have fun. Thanks for watching.